Russian missiles repeatedly hitting several cities across Ukraine, including Kyiv, the port city of Odessa, and Kharkiv. Ukrainian forces said they shot down 34 missiles in the overnight attack. Ukraine's nuclear plant was also hit, causing a disruption in power supplies. Sanjay Suri gets us more on the Ukrainian military's preparedness from inside a bunker at an undisclosed location in Ukraine. Just off a common street, whose location we are advised not to disclose, we step down into a bunker. Hidden from view, this is an operational military hub. Armed members of this unit stay away for the moment, their arms and ammunition kept away from the camera. What you can see is stocks of food and water to keep this unit supplied for quite a long time. This is the bunker of a very special paramilitary unit of the Ukrainian army that has been working with regular troops to provide them information, and that information has been critical. It was this unit that contributed with information that halted the Russian advance to Kyiv at the start of the invasion last year. The commander who has been with this unit since the start of the Donbas war in 2014 tells us something of what this unit has been doing. When the Russians advanced a year ago, members of our unit worked with the military who blew up bridges that stopped the Russian advance to Kyiv. And we used our drones to give our military the positions of the Russians. The unit is clearly dug in here in anticipation of and in preparation for further action to follow. This is where we can sit out under prolonged bombing and where we can remain prepared and ready to deal with the enemy whenever that need arises. This place can hold food for 30 to 50 people for up to a year. Everything here is being prepared and geared for a possible new invasion and people are ready in ways that are seen but mostly unseen to stop any new Russian invasion from proceeding very far at all. Sanjay Suri there reporting from inside Ukraine. Veteran actor and director Satish Koshik died this morning in New Delhi after suffering a cardiac arrest. He was 66. Koshik began his film career in 1983 with Masoom and has acted in more than 100 films since then. He won two Filmfare Awards for Best Comedian and is best remembered for roles like his role in Mr. India, Ram Lakhan and Divana Mastana. Koshik also directed over a dozen films. He leaves behind his wife and daughter. And with that, it is time for us to wrap up this edition of Business 360. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to CNBC TV 18. The news continues when we return.